Living a six-year-old nightmare is becoming unbearable for one family. Mary Paul faced a judge today in hopes of getting her license back. This after serving time for hitting and killing a well-known cyclist, Bob Lennon. But as Jackie Orozco explains, it's leaving loved ones in limbo. A stolen car and then ran off. This is a pretty interesting story. Now, the truck was actually repoed, and she was surprised to find out it was all legal. And it's happening a lot more than you might think. In the football fever, almost 100 former OSU players got a look at the updated Woody Hayes Athletic Center this week, including our very own football fever guys, Jay Richardson and Obi Stillwell. Clay Hall has their reaction. School is starting this week for thousands of students, and many parents might be worried about how safe their kids are at school. Today, Governor Mike DeWine making some major changes that he believes will help prevent the next school shooting. All right, actors, musicians, and even the head of the U.S. Department of Energy are spreading a hoax on Instagram. Now, it claims Instagram will have permission to make deleted photos and messages public and use those posts against people in court. Well, it was a very emotional scene as the family of Donna Castleberry gathered for a vigil on the one-year anniversary of her death. She was shot and killed in Franklinton, and a former Columbus police officer is now facing charges in connection with her death. Stacia, more than 30 years, in fact. Tonight, he's locked up here. It's the talk of the entire courthouse. His reputation has been ruined, and the community's trust broken. This, certainly not the picture of Mike Davis folks across central Ohio are accustomed to seeing. 10 TV's chief meteorologist arrested. The charges disturbing, collecting and sharing child porn. It involves a significant number of images of child pornography that were both sent and received. This establishes a pattern of behavior. Franklin County Sheriff Dallas Baldwin revealing details this afternoon. The arrest of the well-known Central Ohio TV personality follows a tip and weeks-long investigation by the Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force. Due to the ongoing investigation, the sheriff unable to tell us the ages or if any of the kids are local. All I can tell you is they were uh, uh, juvenile children uh, images. Pictures. This morning, Davis's Upper Arlington home raided. WBNS 10 TV studios searched as well for evidence. Chief Deputy Rick Minard leading the investigation, telling us among the items recovered, cell phones and computers. You know, these are sensitive cases. And so obviously when we see somebody of that statute in the, in, in the community who's as well known as Mike is, um, you know, we we treat these, these cases carefully. We know the impact it's going to have in the community. Internet Crimes, the same unit that busted former Columbus Police Sergeant Dean Worthington on child porn charges last year. Minard stresses this yeah, is so another I mean, example for the community the to be aware. And people were shocked, uh, but it's a reminder that these kinds of cases really span across all professions. I mean, we've arrested clergymen, we've arrested cops, you know, folks in the media, we've arrested everybody. And so I think it's a reminder for the community of how dangerous the Internet is and how we need to protect our children. Thank all of you for coming. Thank you. Tonight, this investigation far from over. The sheriff says more charges and possible arrests connected to this case could come. And the sheriff also tells us that he does not expect Davis to bond out of jail before his court appearance tomorrow. And just another example of how serious this case is. If convicted on all charges, he could face eight years in prison. For now, reporting live at the Franklin County Jail, Rodney Dunnigan, ABC6 News. That's exactly right, Bob, especially when you're talking about teens. Now, here's the issue. The chemicals that are used in those flavors, from bubblegum to cherry, it sounds harmless. But doctors believe users could be setting themselves up for a lifetime of problems. For what you do. The frontal lobe here is very important in executive functioning, judgment, learning, behavior. Yeah. Ohio Health I Epilepsy Chief Dr. Emily Clotty telling us it's a serious danger that shouldn't be overlooked. We don't know necessarily what's in the flavoring or in the liquid that is used for vaping. Research shedding new light on the risks of vaping. There is a chance there's chemical exposures, even heavy metal exposures, um, and it is causing trouble. Hundreds of devices on the market, each one delivering different levels of nicotine or a different combination of chemicals. Recently, reports of seizures among users. Dr. Clotty stressing these cases shouldn't be ignored. Her concern, Absolutely. those teens who vape. Yeah. Nicotine, we believe, can 
impact the growth of that area. So in adolescents where their brain is not as developed in this area, it's more concerning. As experts learn more, she fears the possible lifelong implications on the brain. Vaping at that age can be especially uh, worrisome because it can impact the ongoing development of that region of the brain. Tonight, the FDA calling on more investigation into the connection between vaping and issues with the brain. And here are some numbers to keep in mind tonight. Just this month, the FDA has gotten more than 100 reports of seizures, fainting, and tremors from the use of e cigs Reporting live in studio tonight, Rodney Dunnigan, 6. On your